In this video, we'll talk about the Xcode file structure. On your left, the project navigator, first we'll see um, the Xcode project file. This will be the place um, where it has like all of the uh, project information, including the names, the bundle identifier, the version, and um, other useful info such as the deployment and the framework, signings, all the other stuff like that. Most of the time, you won't be changing this file, um, but keep in mind that um, it's something that um, that's that's right here. And um, inside this Xcode project, there is a couple folder. Um, first, we'll see a bunch of SWIT files. Um, this will be the file that we interact to, interact with most of the time. Um, the first two app delegate and scene delegate aren't that. Um, I would say aren't that we, we're not using that very often. Um, however, the view controller file we're definitely gonna be um, using that a lot. Next, we have main storyboard. It's called a storyboard is also called the interface builder. Um, we won't be using that for the first week or two, but we will talk about that a little later. It's helpful for um, building interface, but um, I think it will be easier for you to understand stuff if we start off without using an interface builder. So just keep that in mind. And next we have assets.xc assets folder. Um, this will be the place where you keep all of the images, app icons, and um, color assets, stuff like that. Uh, you'll be able to reference that it's sort of bundled together and you'll be able to reference that in, um, in your code, such as in the view controller. And next we have the launch screen dot storyboard. Um, this is the pretty much the same as the main storyboard only it's just like only in charge of the launch screen um, if you want to make any changes such as display a static image in the during during when you're launching the app um, launch screen just reward is your where you want to look at and finally we have the info.p list um, again this is just like uh, the xcode project file um, where it keeps a bunch of useful information about the app and then we have the product. Um, this will be the place where um, once your project build, um, this will be the place where your apps will add. So as you can see, I've already run it before. So I have this demo.app inside my product folder, but we won't be needing that um, for now. Um, another thing that I want to brought you guys attention to is the, uh, the difference between the folder structure in Xcode and the actual folder in the, um, uh, in, the in a finder. So if we open this, um, if we open the project, oh, that's weird. It should open um, here. So if we open the project, we'll see that it looks kind of different from this um, one single um, root hierarchy. That's because um, in Swift, these are the managed um, file tree, and these are the actual file tree, um, and these two are these two are different. But you can sort of see like what's going on right here. This demo folder, it's the demo folder here, and um, inside we have the asset xc assets, and based on our project is just a place for our, our storyboard. Um, it's for a bunch of other localizations, but that brings up the next question. So how do we, um, so how do we like add a folder in Xcode? So normally, if you want to add a folder, you want to add it via the project navigator. You don't want to be adding it here because it won't reflect in the um, in the in the Xcode project. To add a folder, you will select, you will right click. Um, you right click the whatever you know like the place you want to add the folder that so for example if I want to add it inside the demo folder I will select the demo folder and then right click it and then I want to select new group so this is where things get a little bit interesting so you see these are the two options available to you one is new group and another is new group without folder so that's what I mean what are meant by like um, the two project, the two fo the file hierarchy being different, is that you'll be able to create, um, create folder inside Xcode project, but not in the actual folder. So 
you can imagine that if I create this new folder and name it um, folder one, um, it will be creating, I will be creating an actual folder in the actual the file, in, in the actual file uh, structure. But however, if I select um, new group without folder and name it folder two, um, you see this little triangle, um, dark triangle at the bottom left, and that indicates it's a group without folder. And um, if you go back to Finder, you'll see that it's actually not there. It only exists in Exo project. So um, here are something to keep in mind. Like if you, most of the time people do folder um, group without folder for um, stuff like info.plist because for info.plist, you want to keep it at the original place, but you still don't want to see it all the time because that's not a, it's, it's usually not that useful. But usually you want to do group with folder. And the next question they're going to talk about is how to add file to Xcode project. So because like I said, um, the folder structure, right? Uh, the folder structure here is not the same as the folder structure inside uh, the Xcode project. So if I created a file in, let's say in here, in, in, um, in the actual, in the actual folder, um, I won't be, I won't be seeing that in the Xcode project, right? So for example, I create an example.txt and it's not showing up in our Xcode project. So here, how do we add that? Um, we want to, again, we want to select the folder that we want to add that file to and then we want to say add files to demo. And then you'll see the example DTST show up and actually it will be highlighted. And um, the very important thing is we want to select copy items if needed. So this is particularly important if we are importing files from outside of the outside of the Xcode project, the, the, the actual file hierarchy, because Otherwise, we'll be leaving a reference to somewhere outside of the folder on your computer. And when you upload it to GitHub, obviously, they won't include that file. So we're going to select copy items if needed and then click add. So you see we have the example the TXT here. And uh, if we make change to this file right here, it will it will show up. And it was, right now, Xcode project is properly tracking and managing this file. 